First, on the American health front, finding out that you have cancer is never good news. No matter what type of cancer you have, it's a very complex disease, and for many people, it can be a long battle. Luckily, today there are new treatments that can enhance your own body's ability to fight it. We visited Hematology Oncology Associates of Fredericksburg, where the four highly qualified medical oncologists and their dedicated staff give hope to cancer patients. We're a small practice here. We practice in a general oncology, so basically every cancer head to toe. I think first thing is, is we want to focus in on uh, patient care, patient quality. Uh, we've always tried to emphasize that at first and foremost. We've also wanted to really make a unique uh, setting in which patients can receive their care here. Uh, tried to deinstitutionalize it, um, make it very comfortable, homey, not only for patients but their caregivers as well. For appropriate patients, they will use immunotherapy, meaning treatments that allow our own immune system to kill cancer cells. First, we'll learn about melanoma or skin cancer. Well, melanoma is a type of skin cancer of the melanocytes that uh, provide color for our skin. Uh, it is a cancer that can go down deep into the lymphatic system and metastasize, so it is the most malignant type of skin cancer. Uh, about 12,000 to 15,000 a year. It's become much more prominent with our skin exposures, our tanning salons, so it's uh, definitely the incidence is, is on the rise. We'll discover a cancer drug used in the treatment of melanoma. One of the new therapies in melanoma, we've had a really a big, uh, big rise in excitement in melanoma because we realized that the immune system is pretty important in attacking melanoma. Uh, one of the drugs that has become a novel agent in, uh, in the arsenal for melanoma treatment is ipilimumab, uh, and it is a drug that heightens our immune system to recognize the melanoma cancer and attack it. Ipilimumab is delivered right now for stage four melanoma. Uh, it's delivered in four sessions uh, over an hour every three weeks. Um, uh, and it doesn't have the usual side effects. It's not a chemotherapy, uh, so patients don't usually have to worry about hair loss, nausea, vomiting. Those things don't occur. You know, it's been a year since, well, it'll be a year in April, my last treatment, and um, seem to be in full remission. I don't have any symptoms. Back to work. Uh, I got, got my life back, so I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> I think in general, ipilimumab is a great kind of template for where we're heading in medical oncology. Um, uh, we are going to be utilizing our immune system to attack cancer. Now we'll discuss prostate cancer, one of the most common cancers in men. Prostate cancer is a very common cancer in men, and it's usually caught at an early stage at a time when surgery or radiation can cure it. Um, unfortunately, though, there are still about 25,000 deaths per year from prostate cancer. Uh, in the last uh, two to three years, there has been a tremendous amount of progress uh, made in treatments for people in whom the cancer is already spread at the time of diagnosis. There is good news in the battle on prostate cancer. There's a new vaccine treatment for advanced prostate cancer. Now there are several new options, including a vaccine called Cipolucil T. This is a personalized vaccine that improves your body's ability to recognize and uh, fight the cancer cells. Now, this treatment is fairly complicated and involves incubating your own immune cells with a protein that's often found in prostate cancer and then taking that uh, mixture and giving it back to you to help your body better uh, fight prostate cancer. It has been shown to increase how long people live with advanced prostate cancer in a large uh, clinical trial. Finally, we'll explore new treatments used to target the HER2 protein in order to kill breast cancer cells. Breast cancer in the United States today is one of the most common cancers that is diagnosed. And it often is found by mammogram, which is a form of imaging, or by self-examination. About 20% of breast cancers are driven by a protein called HER2. And they can make that cancer grow much more rapidly. Fortunately, there's a way to target or attack that direct protein that sits on the surface of that cell and you can use a targeted antibody treatment that attaches to that protein and kills the cell and that in turn stops the cancer from growing. These treatments have revolutionized how we treat breast cancer because we're seeing many more women cured at this point. Hematology Oncology Associates of Fredericksburg is on the forefront of modern cancer treatments as well as have clinical trials for all of the disease processes mentioned and offer the highest level of care to patients as well as their families.